Now, normally, if this dog was being shown, the handler would then physically take and pull each piece of hair out, either with their hands or with a stripping knife. And I'll just give you a quick little, I don't know if Jack will let me pull, just so you can have an idea. You're going to take your thumb and you're going to hold the hair and you want to hold the coat so it doesn't stretch and you would pull down. Now, it's a very time-consuming, labor-intensive. It doesn't hurt the dog. A lot of people think that hand stripping hurts. It doesn't hurt, but it is definitely labor-intensive on both you and the dog. So if you have a pet like Jack, you want to um, muck it out, like I said, and we're going to go through with a, a snap-on comb so we can get the same texture. One of the things I like to do when I do these terriers is I use a 9-blade as opposed to a 30-blade. It's not quite a skip, but it leaves the same texture as a skip blade does, but it has a flat enough surface that I can get my snap-on comb on it. Now, I'm going to use a two snap-on comb, which is about three-eighths of an inch. It is equivalent, I mean, they say it's equivalent to a four blade, but I personally think it's just a tiny bit longer. And then using the nine blade on it, you're also going to leave it a little bit longer, so you're not going to get that tight, clippered kind of look. And with the dogs that have the saddle, it's nice and easy because it's all the black that I'm going to clip her off. So again, it's like paint by numbers for dogs. <laughs>